I'll be showing you 10 of the hottest new SaaS products. For each of these examples, we take a look at what the product is and who it was founded by. I think you'll really enjoy these, so make sure you stay until the end of the video. First up, we have a product called Symphony. It has two co-founders, Murtaza and Shabit. Symphony is a conversational AI recruiter that helps companies hire customer-facing roles all while giving candidates a more enjoyable and supportive experience in the recruiting process. Up to 80% of recruiters' time and see time to fill drop to as low as two days, which avoids costly downtime. And this helps to solve the problem that recruiters are drowning and candidates aren't happy. And customer-facing roles are the most underserved, and that's the reason why they're focusing on this specific type of role. And this covers roles ranging from CSRs, customer success managers, and sales associates to healthcare professionals, as well as maintenance and repair staff. They need a mix of technical knowledge, communication skills, and EQ to be effective in their roles, which today is assessed purely by humans in an HR pre-screen. This product helps to automate the process and candidates tell them they feel more comfortable talking with their AI interviewer rather than humans. They are less nervous and can be more open when sharing their experiences. And Symphony is then gonna handle the administrative work, coordinating with hiring managers and candidates to schedule the next interview. Next up, we have a product called Tiny and it's a new kind of ERP systems for factories. As two co-founders, Lewis and Edward, and they're building a compound startup like Rippling for factories. Their mission is to provide factories with a single cohesive platform to track and manage the full life cycle of a manufactured item across every department in their organization. And they've already started working with several factories in Indonesia, Vietnam, and India. And this is the problem that they're addressing, and that's that many factories are trapped in a web of disjointed spreadsheets and partially integrated tools, requiring costly manual data re-entry at nearly every stage. And unless they can afford to spend over a million dollars on an ERP solution like SAP is going to lead to a lot of fragmentation. So Tiny is a solution and it's a ground up reimagination of cumbersome traditional ERP software. And factories now have an intuitive user experience that leverages live collaborative editing to get everyone working together seamlessly. Next up, we have Ronkai. It was founded by Dylan and Hugo, and they're targeting the big industry of marketing agencies. As this grew and made 400 billion in 2024, despite the rise of affordable marketing tools. So Ronkai is building AI agents to strategize and execute on marketing objectives, just like an agency. It's first AI agent that automates the SEO process and makes it 20 times more affordable. In terms of how that works, it's gonna crawl through your website pages and understand your business. Then it's gonna suggest technical SEO fixes based on the Google SEO guide. Next up, it's gonna research the target keywords tailored for your business, then craft keyword optimized SEO content. Then finally, it's gonna publish it and send the weekly blogs straight to your website, just like a marketing agency would do. Next up, we have Upshift, which is gonna allow you to turn your software product into a platform. It was founded by Adam and Thomas, and they built Upship to help product companies build their own app stores and plugin systems. And these are great for sales and retention. And the problem they're addressing is that building support for these platforms features can be tough as it's time consuming and expensive. This includes running third-party code safely, embedding the plugins into your product, and giving a great developer experience to your partners. If you've made it this far in the video, I'm sure you wanna build your own SaaS product. And I have you covered with my complete end-to-end -end academy. That's gonna show you how to build a money-making micro SaaS in just 60 days. Even if you don't have any product ideas, funding, or SaaS experience, there's a link in the description below, so make sure you check that out. Or if you're just looking for some free micro SaaS ideas, I also have you covered. There's a link in the description below as well. Next up, we have ProHost AI, which was founded by Bill and Andrew, and it's an AI property manager for Airbnb and short-term rental hosts. And these two founders have used these AI automations themselves, and it cuts down their costs by 30% and automated 70% of guest communications. And this targets a market where very many of Airbnb hosts, it says around 80% of them don't use any SaaS tools yet. And Airbnb hosts are digitally native as well, working from their mobile phones all the time. And this technology is gonna help improve their operations. It includes things such as AI responses for every guest message, as well as AI maintenance ticketing. It makes it easy to collaborate with your team. Next up, we have Mindly, and it's the first Gen AI 
interview for skills assessment and interviews. It has four co-founders, Joseph, Sasha, Alex, and, and this is an AI interviewer for advanced interview rounds. And they make it easy to scale and improve complex, time-consuming interviews for high turnover, high volume corporate roles. So it's targeting a very specific market where there's a very wide pool of applicants, such as up to 200,000 roles, or sorry, candidates per year per company. And these interviews are run on a rolling basis to compensate for the high turnover around 20%. It so also addresses the problem that candidate experience and selection is flawed across the recruiting process from unconscious interview bias to interview formats and evaluation criteria that can vary from one interviewer to the next. So Mindly enables unbiased skill-based recruiting at scale for complex roles. And it's fully interactive, it understands the whole context for complex case study and role play interviews. It also thinks like a human with a candidate to challenge them and it's fully customizable in terms of content and evaluation criteria. Next up, we have Voker. It was founded by Tyler and Alex, and it's a no-code AI builder. And it's gonna empower teams to build AI features in just minutes without involving engineers. Companies such as lull.com and dutch.com are using their platform to improve their consumer experience and retention. And it's gonna have features such as configurable guardrails, structured outputs to make it easy to incorporate AI features into your application. It also has a suite of testing and monitoring to give you confidence in running non-deterministic AI, and it makes it easy to train each AI applet on a specific business context. Next up, we have Cart. It's the AI shopping assistant for all e-commerce brands, and it was founded by Res. And it's going to transform the product discovery experience for the most innovative e-commerce companies. Doing so at a fraction of the cost and time, they can build customized AI shopping assistants like Amazon Rufus, trained to answer every question on your catalog. This helps address the problem that human sales assistants have always been coveted but too expensive to maintain for non-luxury brands and so now you can build ai agents for a fraction of the cost and it's going to do things such as give product recommendations and answer non-product questions diode was founded by david and lenny and it's going to automate hardware design like hiring a senior electronic engineer for your project. And they're gonna use generative AI models to create and manufacture custom printed circuit boards in just minutes rather than weeks. And this addresses a problem that designing printed circuit boards is really hard and existing tools provide little opportunity for design reuse, so most projects are started from scratch. Since there's no good way to test your design, your best bet is just to order them and hope for the best. So Diode is gonna solve this by owning the entire PCB process end to end. And it's going to start with the core of composable, reusable models. Lastly, we have Tavara, which uses LLMs to automate insurance approval for healthcare clinics. It was founded by Tej and Amesh, and its mission is to help doctors deliver care for patients faster. And they're starting by using LLMs to automate submitting prior authorization requests on behalf of providers. This was built because 94% of physicians report delayed patient care due to prior authorization. And so this product is going to help a doctor deliver care faster faster, as well as make them more money by reducing operating expenses. So this concludes the video here on 10 of the hottest SaaS products. Let me know in the comments what you think of them. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. And if you're looking for the complete academy on how to build your very own SaaS product, check out the link in the description below. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.